Okay, I have a lunchtime grocery shop here um, and there wasn't a lot. I know I say that all the time on these cooking videos, but I don't know why Aldi is stripped bare. I don't live in the middle of nowhere, by the way. I live in like very, 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 very close to a major shopping center. Anyway, eggs, eggs were annoying. I only had um, the 600 gram eggs left. These ones go for $4.99. Again, I do prefer the larger 700 gram eggs. You know, it's like when you do your, you know, scrambled eggs or whatever, you need like an extra egg, so it's annoying. Aldi, I don't know where Aldi gets off, but like their 700 gram eggs were like $7.99. I was like, excuse me, you're Aldi, calm down. Um, I got a beef stir fry, $7.39. Uh, snow peas, expensive, but I really like them. Um, 250 grams, $5.99, which I will cook up with some king oyster mushrooms, $4.99 from the green grocers, which is where I got my bananas from. They're $3.00. Uh, 69 at the green grocers, $3.99 a kilo at Aldi. On special at Aldi was a sweet potato. I believe this was on special for $2.49 a kilo. So I got one, I'll probably do it up with rice. And two very small truss tomatoes from the um, green grocers. This total to $1.81. So two tiny, tiny tomatoes, but I want tomato eggs. Um, a very strange thing that I saw, that's the thing with Aldi, right? Their special buys are like limited edition, so when you see it, you're never gonna see it again. A salmon wellington with cheese sauce, prosecco, and watercress. This is an interesting thing, so I'm gonna give this one a go. Um, yeah looks fancy with the whole lattice on top uh, this might be a quick lunch it looks like it's portable <laughs> um, then creme caramel I usually don't buy dessert as you can see from my weekly grocery shopping uh, but I just kind of had a massive hankering so two of those how much are these um, $2.99. Oh, that's pricey for two. Uh, so $1.50 each. The Aldi knockoff Oreos, $1.49. But then by the checkout, by the, like the special section, they had real Oreos, chocolate filling, $1.25. And I was like, oh, bugger, I'm not going to put this one back. So very interestingly, name brand is cheaper than knockoff. So yeah, I don't know what that's about. And peanut cookies, gone up in price, $2.09. Remember the good old days when they were $1.99? No longer, no longer. Um, then just white chocolate baking bits. I'm gonna bake someone some um, ch choc chip muffins and stuff like that uh, and bring it to like a get together. Then finally for lunch, Small thing of sushi, just a, uh, is that chicken? I think it's chicken. Um, and avocado, this thing, little thing, seven bucks, but that's it. So for this very teeny weeny weeny haul, I blew like more than 50 bucks. I will put my turtle up on screen. Okay, I'm not gonna have enough time to cook dinner and then eat it before I have a meeting, so. <laughs> I'm going to do most of my prep work and then have my meeting and then cook it. So just going to get up from the table and turn on the rice cooker anyway, halfway through. But in preparation for this, because I've only got 15 minutes before it starts, I've got some snow peas um, washed and I took off the stringy bits. I have one king oyster mushroom chunked up roughly. I have half a sweet potato just chunked up as well uh, i've pulled out a couple of eggs from obviously the fridge and my beef stir fry 
I've also washed one cup of rice, but I'm going to cook that much, much later. So beef stir fry, I'm going to marinate it and just let it sit in the marinade while I have my meeting. I forgot how much this was. Half a kilo less than, oops, didn't check. Uh, I'm going to add one teaspoon of, actually half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to add two tablespoons of corn flour. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, so that's bicarb soda. It will tenderize the meat. One tablespoon of mushroom sauce or oyster sauce. This one is just mushroom because it's vegetarian. Usually they're not vegetarian. Um, they use real, you know, oysters in it. But this is what I have. One tablespoon of this plus one tablespoon of soy sauce and then two tablespoons of water. And about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Next, I'm going to prepare my tomatoes. Um, I'm going to make tomatoes with eggs. Now, this time I only managed to get the 600 gram eggs and they're small, they're so tiny. This one is a 700 gram egg and this one is a 600 gram egg. So that's why I constantly, constantly complain about the tiny little eggs. Yeah, and apparently the 700 grams, they just sell out so very quickly. You need to basically use like an egg and a half to get the size egg, 700 grams, 600 grams. So, you know, that's why they are much cheaper, but if I have to add more eggs then it's stupid. Anyway, I've got five eggs and I'm just going to beat them. Okay, so I've had a dig around the fridge and I found a carrot. So I've just chopped it up into battens and I'm going to throw this into the stir fry with the green, what are these called again? Not beans, snow peas, snow peas. <sighs> English, Annie, English. I don't think in English, by the way. Yeah, it's inefficient. <laughs> anyway. I just brain froze again. Carrots, carrots. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not an idiot during my meeting. Anyway, carrots, snow peas, I've got the king oyster mushroom and that'll go in with, you know, assorted flavors and seasoning. It's a stir fry, it's not gonna be that hard. I have my beef marinated already. I've just got cling wrap over it. I'll throw it back in the fridge. I've got five eggs, <laughs> four small ones and one large one. Um, I'm going to cook that up with my two truss tomatoes, small ones. I usually do like to peel the skin off one, but I just can't be bothered this evening. And I've already made up my corn flour, um, corn starch slurry, which is just one teaspoon of cornstarch, corn flour, and a bit of water in. So when I'm ready to cook, I will cook my eggs, no, my tomatoes through, uh, scrambled, and 
cook that down just so that you know you get the rawness out of it take that out cook my eggs scramble it very quickly throw in my cornstarch and then the whole thing together now as for these things the sweet potato i'm going to cook moi which is taiwanese for really really wet rice <laughs> um it's even thinner in consistency than congee um and um chinese people call it zhou it's like a drink you almost you drink your rice the closest thing that you have to it is risotto which is half wet rice anyway i've got one cup of rice washed i'm going to and just drained i'm going to add four cups of water to it and cook it down with the actually i'll do it on top right now sweet potatoes yeah um this won't take very long but i'll let it sit cook and then sit for like 10 15 minutes um, but I will press it down during my meeting so it won't go hard. So that's what it's going to be. And then when I'm ready, I will cook and then hopefully have a very quick dinner. So I will see you then. I'm finally done. Uh, the prep work really did help me because my meeting did run pretty long. So I basically just stir fried up the pre-marinated um, beef and you know, it's beef. I was gonna throw it with the vegetables, but uh, because I only cooked half of the pack, uh, I'll cook my vegetables fresh every single day and then just add meat to it. So rather than having all of the meat marinated and you know imagine that they're together same stomach anyway yeah well also this is not a cooking accident this is a paper cut accident <sighs> office jobs are so dangerous i've got my eggs here i did use a little bit of the corn starch slurry just a little bit to thicken it up and 
I usually put ginger in this, but I put garlic in it simply because I was too lazy to get the ginger out and garlic went into this, along with a bit of Japanese dashi. So that's my king oyster mushrooms, my snow peas and my carrots. Let's have a look at the moi. Oh, I'm out of frame. Let me move things around. This is called a Da Tong Dian Guo, which is Taiwanese rice cooker. It is life, life changing, <laughs> but uh, it literally will outlast you. Like, no, seriously. When my grandmother passed, I inherited three. Like, a literal lifetime. Um, it's, yeah, we cook a lot of things in it other than rice. And this is called moi in Taiwan. Um, it's actually, because I left it a bit longer than expected, it is more risotto consistency. Most people have it a bit thinner than this. Um, my sweet potato has cooked which is nice. So the recipe for moi is one cup of rice to four cups of water using the cup that you get with your rice cooker. So I'm going to scoop this out onto a, into a bowl. A lot of people have this for breakfast. Um, when I was growing up, like... My grandparents would be like, oh, you know, breakfast time. And they would say, Jia moi. <laughs> so whenever I cook this, I can't think in English. I just don't. It's not my default language. So the sweet potato is a nice addition on top. Um, I think my dad put it in because he used to have sweet potatoes a lot. You know, you hear the poor stories growing up of the, well, I had to walk like a billion miles to get to school, those kind of stories. Anyway, I really enjoy sweet potato with it. I know, it's starch on starch, isn't it? So you get quite a lot for one cup. Um, next day, it'll be thicker than this, so I'm going to have it for breakfast next morning. Um... This magic is called pork floss. That sounds so bad, so bad in English. In Taiwanese, it's ba so, which is, I don't know, it's not even pork. It's just meat flakes. Yeah, that doesn't even sound, yeah, I'm making it sound worse. Anyway, this stuff is magic. Every Asian person knows what this is. Cantonese people, Taiwanese people, Chinese people, you have it with congee and a lot of it. It's basically just dried dehydrated pork um, and yeah, I mean it's slightly sweet, what's in it? Pork, sugar, pork lard, oh that's bad for you. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? It tastes good. This is not the healthy cooking channel, yeah? This is the... Seriously, like, eat a little bit health. Eat like a human being. Don't order pizza, Annie channel. <laughs> no pizzas delivering to me now anyways. It's 10 p.m. A mountain of pork floss. So I've got my eggs with tomatoes. Very classic Asian dish. I've got my stir fry, um, carrots, snow peas, king oyster mushrooms, my pork floss, my moin, and um, my beef. And that's a full dinner. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm super, super proud. I'm going to send this picture to my mother. She thinks I starve to death every week. Anyway, I'll put my costings up on screen.